yo and welcome back to another video in this video we're here to talk about motor fest yeah we're talking about I'm motor fest. we're going to talk about the fact that motor fest has a very very slow closing window potentially redeeming itself as one of the one games that i love to play the most and not be broken for literally almost what not half of his lifetime i'm Okay, maybe you could probably say half of his lifetime. I made a video talking about how my motorfest has been broken since launch. And I'm not sure if I mentioned collectively been broken since launch or just like the fact that this has been broken been the entire time since launch. But my rap editor has been broken ever since launch collectively because there was the one glitch where you couldn't pick your own custom decals and while I did do some raps during that time, there was just no way I was willing to do raps back to back knowing that I was going to have to do that every time I wanted the specific decal. Like that, that shit was tedious and annoying as hell but um, later on down the line they were to do an update. Not even an update. I called this a sabotage. What they did was they put out an update that broke the game even more for the rap editor for me. And I made a video showing exactly what it does. And I already know that it's going to be glizzy gladiators, 12 year old grown men that's going to that's gonna be on some bullshit talking to myself oh why are you why are you so mad about this it doesn't even matter because it's like this is literally something that's in the game that they put in the game and i can't even use it and as many times as i've tried to get these lazy motherfuckers to understand that yo the, the shit is broken can y'all fix it like why is it taking this long to fucking fix something that should have been done i don't know if i mentioned this before but when the December 6th update came, I was kicked out of the custom show. Even though I applied for it long ago, like when the last summit came through, when it actually refreshed to the last summit, I literally put in the shit right then and there. So I was in the custom show literally from there all the way to the, you know, time it was for it to reset and everything. And it kicked me out the fucking li not live show. It kicked me out the customer show, and I ain't get shit that day. And then the update for you know the crew motivators when it came to this one again update. I'm just gonna lie. I'm just gonna say it. It was it's the worst update to ever imagine. I like can't wrap any of the Hoonigan cars. Like for example the Scotto Audi, which is one of my favorite cars. It makes me so mad that you can't wrap none of those cars. It's like, bro, what was the point of even putting them in there? Because you can't wrap a single Hoonigan car. You know, like, Scotto, and then Ken Block with his Mustangs and shit, and then the Hoonitron. You can't wrap any of those. <laughs> and I, I don't even think you was able to wrap the damn truck, which at that point, I mean, shit, better off not, well, I was better off not getting that truck anyway than at that point. The, the update was horrible, and of course, it doesn't fix my rap editor. And I know people are going to just be like, bro, just stop complaining. No, I'm going to keep complaining because this is something that should have been fixed long ago. And keep in mind, I took the initiative to tell these people this. I literally took initiative to tell these people, hey, my rap editor is broken. And... There's no way I can even get it to work on my own. And literally both times was just bot response, bot response, bot response. Now I could probably understand the fact that, oh, well, it, it was, you know, there was on a little, little bit of a holiday break. I'm going to keep saying it. They don't deserve the holiday break. I don't care if you get mad at me for saying that. They don't deserve the holiday break because there's no way they just went this long without a day one patch, a real fix to the game, the worst update you can ever think of for hoonigan and then uh, after all of that the rap editor still broken till this day i get kicked out the custom show for no reason technically and then it's just nothing but pussyfooting around this entire time on motorfest from ubisoft side and it irritates me because it's like bro they charge seventy dollars for this fucking game, and yeah, of course I spent one hundred and twenty because I like mo. I like the crew. Period. Like I was saying about the window for Motorfest, it's a very slow closing window, and this window is essentially where uh, basically, if you know, there's supposed to be an update coming through for Motorfest after these last two summits come through, and all I gotta say is, if my rap battery is not fixed by that time, bro. If it's not fixed, well not by that time, if it's not fixed when I wake up in the morning and that update comes through, I'm going to just say it right now. I'm going to just start saying 
to everybody that Motorfest is literally dog shit. <laughs> I mean, it's not dog shit because of how the game feels. Like, I, I hate realism in games like Need for Speed 9 Days because that's what plagues a game like Need for Speed. It just don't make it fun. But for Motorfest, it's well within the realm and, it, and it's fun that way. Like, I like Motorfest. It doesn't bother me that, of course, it's catering to realism to some extent. But I enjoy how the game feels with that realism. I'm a rap maker before a sweat any day of the week on Motorfest. Or just the crew, period. And so with my rap editor being broken, I have no true reason to get on Motorfest. Not even to race, because I don't like to just race. <laughs> like, I want to be able to make raps too. Like, my, my real passion comes from making raps for real. And I can't even do that. Like, yeah, I can sit there and learn how to play the game. While, you know, they take their sweet ass time not doing jack shit on how to fix the rap editor. It just annoys me that it's been this long and they still haven't fixed it. And this is because of them. Like, and I've already pointed out the sketchiness that they done. You know what I'm saying? Like the fact that they secretly patched the 918 spider when they, when, when the summit came up where you had to use the 918. They literally secretively went into the game patched the 918 and called it a day but they couldn't even have actually win the game and fix the rap editor after i even told them that the shit is broken um that's that's basically it motorfest has a slow window and it's closing not fast but it's also not closing anytime slower either so and one more thing before i do come off of this i don't know how when i had a problem with fucking kill the justice league like i, pr I, br I probably i probably brought it up at some point in one of my videos recently my king shark skin didn't show up when i you know got when i claimed it through twitch because you know the, you know twitch drop shit but it didn't show up when i claimed it and i'm like damn and so i'm like okay i'll just wait for them to you know maybe put a patch out or something and it'll just and it'll, it'll just come through lord and behold the skin actually came through after what a week maybe or after a week of it not being on my game that's after a week. Motorfest has not fixed my rap editor, period. And it's been literally since half of the life of Motorfest. And I say half of the life of Motorfest because that's when it actually happened. It's been this long and they still haven't fixed it. How does a game like Kill the Justice League get thrashed on so hard can actually fix something before Motorfest can? Like, bro. How can Rocksteady actually fix something in their game before Ubisoft can actually do their job and fix something in the game? You see what I'm saying here? You know how sad that is in today's standards, bro? Kill the Justice League is getting thrashed on right now. And these motherfuckers had enough nerve to fix something in the game. And it actually gets fixed from my perspective. Then Ubisoft actually giving a fuck about their game and fixing something that's been broken since launch rather if it's collectively or not <laughs> like this shit is straight up ridiculous on so many levels bro anyway that's about it and i'll catch y'all later